Welcome to the Hibbing Economic Development Authority special meeting agenda. Today is Monday, October 2nd, 2023, 5 p.m. We have everyone in attendance with the exception of Mr. Kivola. Um, I would like to call the meeting order. Um, we need the approval of the, the agenda. Can I get a motion to approve tonight's agenda? Motion to approve. Motion. Second. Motion approved by Member Schweiberger and seconded by Member Hajduk. Is there any further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 All opposed? Motion carried. Okay, we have the public hearing for the sale of the public land. So I would like to entertain a motion to open a public hearing for the sale of the public land that approximately 5.19 acres of land in the city of Hibbing. Can we have a motion? Madam Chair, I'll make a motion. Motion made by Member Hoffman Sackerman. Support. Supported by Vice President Duranis. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Motion carries. Is there anyone in the audience who wishes to speak to this issue? Is there anyone in the audience who wishes to speak to this issue? Number three, is there anyone in this audience who wishes to speak to this issue? There isn't anyone who wishes to speak to this issue, so I will need a motion to close the public hearing. Madam Chair, I'll make a motion to close the public meeting. Motion made by Member Heidek. Support. Supported by Member Schweiber. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 All opposed say aye. Motion carried. Hey, will you speak to the resolution? Madam President, members of the commission, uh, in your packet this evening is a proposed resolution authorizing the sale of approximately 5.19 acres of land from uh, residents of the city of Hibbing to Rich and Sherry Lees. Uh, within the resolution, you'll see what are called some things of fact. These are things that I drafted. This is a little bit different than most resolutions in that the, uh, the body in this case, HEDA board, needs to as a part of their, this resolution, except that these are findings to support that this is a reasonable sale under these circumstances. So, in, in, and we've had close ends to discuss this potential sale. There have been varying offers different than even this one, but after some negotiations with the prospective buyers that uh, Ms. Levante and I had directly, and I think she had more than I did, um, the sale price for this particular part of land is exactly what it was appraised at. That's why finding a fact one reflects that uh, we're not, this is not like the taxpayers are getting a bad deal here. This is literally what the market has said. It was for $57,000. Um, as a part of the sale, because this is sold to HEDA, uh, the purchasers, in this case, Mr. and Mrs. Lees, are uh, representing that they, it will be like in a com commercial industrial storage, eat this property immediately or the property immediately adjacent to it, but they need this property for access to it. So it does meet the criteria as to what the rest of that area looks like and so forth. Um, it's obvious that if we sell the property, this will then go into a private uh, home uh, person's uh, name, thus <coughs> going to generate tax revenue yes. for the city. And further, it generates other development by the nature of it because then they can move ahead with the industrial uh, storage building on another site, a more value and there more revenue and benefit. It's not out of character for the rest of the area. And so these findings have to be uh, part of your resolution so that we can support it later. There, this kind of a resolution is subject to a taxpayer appeal. And, and, and if, if a taxpayer out in the audience or out in the city wanted to challenge uh, this sale, they have up to 30 days to file a complaint with the district saying Ida did something wrong um, and we want to challenge this in court. So that's, that's one of the reasons why we're having a special meeting tonight, not to avoid public, but to keep the time frame moving along so that count out about 30 days from now. Assuming you accepted it tonight and decide to go forward tonight, you aren't under an obligation to go forward tonight. The HEDA board has up to 30 days 
to, from the time of the closing of that public hearing to make a determination whether they want to sell this property at these terms or not. But it's ready for you if you wanted to take it tonight to resolve it. But if the president said, well, you know what, I just want to adjourn this meeting for now and then take it at another meeting, the HEDA board could do that. But they can take it up tonight. And if they take it up tonight and they accepted this proposal, then that would start the clock thing with that respect to that 30 days. If you vote down tonight, you don't want to do this, that's perfectly within your too. We just wouldn't go any further with this particular mail-in process. Do you have any questions of me as to what we've gone through? No, I just appreciate your explanation and how detailed you were and the reasons uh, how you construct it. Um, Madam President, I do have a question for our attorney. So if we decide to go um, to approve this this evening and we start the clock 30 days, what if something comes back that we're not aware of? So there are a couple other hurdles that are still having to be worked through. Number one is kind of in conjunction with you moving forward with this. This is only a part of a parcel that he owns there. One of the other steps that's going to happen in this process is there's been an application that I think the president is signing this evening applying to the Planning Commission to split the parcel. So if the Planning Commission, for some reason, shot down that idea, we aren't in a position to sell the parcel to Mr. and Mrs. because we can't split the parcel, and therefore we wouldn't go any further. So that's, that's one. Mm -hmm. Number two, there's probably something coming up at the Council, either at their Wednesday meeting or at probably the 18th of October meet, uh, discussing that the part of the city selling property. So under a comprehensive plan, normally the planning commission has their own hearings with regard to that. However, if a certain percentage of the council vote, this looks just fine to us, you can skip the planning commission. So that process still has to be completed. Uh, so those are the primary things I see that are potential hurdles uh, with respect to moving forward with this. Mr. Mr. and Mrs. Lees of our haven't, as far as I know, haven't moved off of, we've been working primarily through the title company that they, he's working through to they've been bearing these purchase agreements. So that's kind of where, as far as I know, where we are. Right. Thank you for that clarification. Mm -hmm. No other questions for Andy. Thank you, Andy, for explaining that sure. so concisely, I guess, so we all understand it. And after hearing him speak, no, do we have a, um, a motion to accept this proposal? Well, Madam Chair, uh, <clears throat> I guess I, I feel that as you know, we've done due diligence, We've looked at uh, different opportunities and different options of purchasing this property. Uh, we've had, what, three closed sessions, I think? Two, for sure, maybe three closed sessions to discuss this. Uh, as Mr. Borland has stated, we're, we're getting a market value for this property and, and the tax base that it could create, not only for this piece, but the adjoining pieces in the future. So I would like to make a motion to move this forward and accept uh, move forward to offering this property to Mr. East for the said price. Um, I don't know how else it has to be worded, Andy. I guess I would. You, you ought to accept the resolution as presented. Okay. The resolution as presented, mm -hmm. Madam Chair. Okay. We have a motion made by Member Duke to accept this proposal, the, res the resolution number 23-10-01. Do we have a second? Support. Supported by Member Hoff Sakuman. Is there any further discussion? Madam President, if I may, sure. um, just to put in the public record that um, we have paid or will pay $160 for the application for the exemption um, to the Planning and Zoning Commission, which should go through um, their meeting in a, in a week or two. Um, the EDA board did pay $1,960.74 for the survey of this property to be able to apply for that plot exemption. And we also did $1,800 for the appraisal of this property, a total of $4,020.74 um, to do the pre-development around this potential sale. Therefore, selling the property at $57,000 as appraised would net $52,979.20 back into the land acquisition. Land acquisition fund, I believe that's what you cut. Finance Director Molnar. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Mm -hmm. And that's all. Thank you, Betsy, for clarifying that as well. Okay, we have a first, we have a second. Um, no further discussion. Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 All opposed? Motion carries. Thank you. 
Andy? Madam President, I, I'd like to uh, ask Andy Borland, or Attorney Borland, so should I put that on Wednesday's meeting, or do you want to wait until after the 17th, which is when it would go to Planning Commission, and That's then the, put it on the 18th for the council? The waiving of the uh, comprehensive, mm -hmm. you know, it go on a Wednesday if you're, okay. I, I know I've given you other ads that yeah. are going to have to go on, so that'd be fine. Okay. Thank you. So does that have to go on council then, sorry, Madam President, no, does that go on council then ending plat exemption approval? Correct, yeah. right, okay. right. All right. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Okay, if that is it for tonight, we need a motion to adjourn. No move. Move Member Schweiberger. I'll second. Seconded by Member Hajduk. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 All opposed? Mo carries. Thank you.